We're uh, good to go. Hello everyone, Uncle Phil will be joining me to cast in a, a moment's time. This is the uh, the standard Chris Chris M loading screen. So uh, this game may may very well not go through. It would not surprise me if it didn't. Detail strap. <laughs> All right, so Chris Am's not going to load in. This is pretty standard stuff. Last second fail. I can stuff. Fucking Chris Am. Attempt number two. Hey, we made it. Right, welcome everyone to this possibly best of two, possibly best of one series between Chris Gaming and Loot Boys. Although Chris Gaming seems to have embraced their identity much more wholly than uh, Loot Boys have, and that's my Skype call. Hello, Uncle Phil. Possibly. I can't hear you, Uncle Phil. My mic was muted. Excellent. How's it going? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, it seems it wasn't that much of a turnout at the, the noodle event there. Mm, not quite. It's one way of putting it. I'm telling you, just like I posted on Facebook, FOILED BY DISTANCE AGAIN! No, it's unfortunate. I'm getting echo from you. That's because my open mic is on. Ah, there we go. That's better. Good stuff. Right. Okay, so we're going to follow up Ember Spirit first ban, DP first ban, TB first ban. And Death Prophet first ban. 
To be honest, DB, I mean, Terrorblade and... Whoa, 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 hang on, back up. You can hear us. I can hear you, yes. No, they can hear us. What? Sweet, that's because all chat's probably enabled. Uh, okay. You can all hear us. You team suck ass! Someone enabled all chat. Uh, okay. Right, we're gonna have to. Well, uh, I don't know. Like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Right, me and you should mute our. So turn off mics in Dota. And then after this, the remake and all pick. Okay? So everyone, you should be able to hear me. So do your drafting. We'll mute ourselves. And then after, remake and all pick so the game can be fair. And that shouldn't take very long. Is that okay? Somebody message me on the teams and clarify if that's okay. It's unfair on Roshan, they say. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah. We'll take this as a yes. We will take that as a yes. So yeah, remake after. And now we will mute our mics. Bye bye. Yeah, I've already muted mine. So, for the first bands there, Terrorblade plus Ember Spirit. I have muted mine as well. Okay. Tidehunter, Ogre Magi, and Morphling. So this is going to be a... This is probably going to be a inflamed Morphling. Because I've seen him play a lot of Morphling in pubs. He likes the hero quite a lot. And Feng's probably going to stick him mid. And then there's going to be the standard Tidehunter and Ogre Magi. Uh, Ogre Magi. Three high tier picks right off yes, the bat. From indeed. The here. Getting, getting the priority picks out. Tidehunter, interestingly, I think has a less than 50% win rate in this tournament. So... Tidehunter are a little bit overvalued, I'd say. Ogre is still doing well. It is phenomenal, hundred percent, eighty percent pick rate. Even though Tidehunter is a really tanky off laner, you really have to play to its strengths. If he's facing a ranged carry or really an aggressive support, he really doesn't shine all that well. It's against the more melee-oriented heroes or even short-range heroes like Luna who really outclasses the enemy in the lane. Aside from that, you really have to be on, on point with either knowing what he can take and what not and on the blink ravage there. In indeed, the indeed. You have to be able to find find a good counter in gate because before he gets blink dagger, obviously he's an incredible counter initiator as opposed to an initiator. So I think a great skill is good counter initiation in the early game before like pre-blink. I'm going to go with a Wraith King support. I imagine this will be a support anyway. Um, I so, yeah. He, he's flexible, but he usually signs more in support role nowadays since many of the carries have overtaken what Raid King can offer to a game. Still, I'm. Even though Morphling's picked up uh, this quite early, I don't know if the Dire Side has any capable counters to to the Morphling. There's a few like uh, Ancient Apparition, Silencer, all very well. Uh, Elder and good, Titan. But I'm not sure if they have um, a capable player for those heroes, that is. Well, they um, they certainly could run a silencer. Um, uh, they're going to ban up the Skywrath Mage. They're going to pick off that single target silencer. And a silencer would probably be a good pick here, because silencer, I think, is good against Wraith King. Yeah, especially um, if he's played as a support and he can snag a few points of intelligence. That Wraith King is, ain't going to... Raid fire blast. Yeah, yeah. Like, place. yeah, like you have a choice. Like, seventy-five percent slow or AOE stun. Like, pick your pick your poison. Okay, I'm gonna ban out the witch doctor. So another very high tier pick. They uh, heals are strong, and I think like heals are heals are very the the effect that heals have on a team is very is very small, but like it is massive. Like it might be unnoticeable, but a witch doctor and a wraith king heal like it can it can add up pretty rapidly. And it can really turn the tides of a team fight. Witch Doctor is one of the top heroes in terms of healing, and it's just it's very it's very passive and very unnoticeable, yeah. but has a big impact overall. Uh, they are going to go with that Elder Titan, so that absolutely fucks Morphling. Mm -hmm. Again, um, that, that's one of the main problems with picking up the most confident heroes first. Declaring weaknesses are apparent, and you can really counter them pretty easily. Mm. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't, uh, even though Necrolite can work reasonably well against the Morphling, uh, I'm surprised they didn't go for the Elder Titan. Yeah. Or at least maybe, like, Morphling tends to pick up a Lincoln Sphere, and the Skyrath Silence, with good positioning, may not be a problem. Mm -hmm. I think maybe an ET ban over a, over a, over a Skyrath ban could serve them. But then on the other hand, like, 
That's going to be a Pete Disruptor. Pete loves that hero. Mm -hmm. uh, Ned will ne never pick it for him on our team, but that's going to be a Pete Disruptor. So yeah, um, like, it depends. I, I, I don't know who's going to be playing the Elder Titan. I haven't seen Waldson play this. Uh, not, not anything against Waldson, but if, if Waldson isn't a competent Elder Titan player, then it may not be a problem. But if he is, then yeah. it will be a problem. So, things are roundabouts. If, if Elder Titan is played well, Morphling will be forced to go for an Assault Cure as a very unique item on the Morphling, but uh, without armor, he's going to they could they could help the sub they could help to take the take the strain off like Wraith King could pick up a Vlad's after a blink that'd be a good use of items it is going to be Phoenix so this is going to be Feng's Feng's signature hero very nice to see picked up very yes. uh, loved a hero myself uh, in any role really but uh, since its release it's been either banned or just neglected really mm. anyway Feng plays an extraordinarily strong Phoenix but John also plays Phoenix too but I I I don't think they'll waste the potential of Feng here. Mm. So I think that'll be Phoenix mid, I think, and Morphling. I would wager that'll be Morphling safe lane. And then John. John will probably play another off lane hero, I think. If Chris Game is uh, playing the cards right, they should pick up a really hard hitter now. Maybe something like a Drow or even a Sniper mm. to take advantage of that Elder Titan's natural order ability. So they are going to ban out Amipo. I think that's actually a smart ban here because that, that lineup is naturally lending into Amipo almost. Because it's like one ultra carry, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. John says he can't hear us now. Uh, that's because we turned off our open mic and the, the VOD will be going. That's because we turned off open mic. We could still. I, I still think we should remake. Yeah, uh, I think so. So we can actually have a cast for the game. So the. Okay, right, yeah, they know they're remaking, so that should be fine. I'm quite surprised to see, again, the Invoker ban, since I'm not sure if there's actually any player in the pool that plays the Invoker. Oh! Ah, uh, Tinker, okay, so that is going to be a Ruben, Ruben Tinker. Tinker is, I believe that's Tinker's first pick in this tournament. I think he's been banned maybe once or twice, but mm -hmm. Tinker has been, no I haven't seen Tinker in pubs in, literally since the last patch. I haven't seen him once. Um, not really sure about this pick since they don't have many stuns, only the ogre. Now it's going to be a clockwork, so that's going to be John playing the clockwork. So, so it's going to be a Phoenix mid. Be a Raid King core here. No, it's going to be Raid King support. It's going to be Phoenix mid. Phoenix mid clockwork off lane, more fling save lane. Yeah, All with right. uh, with a supporting with a supporting Pete and supporting Mogmeister. Yeah, they might be able to make something work with a Raid Fire Blast into a kinetic field, but. Uh... All right, everybody's disconnecting, Phil. So let's go. All right, it's fine. And Chris M left all chat on, so please don't do that. That's very Dang annoying. Okay. See. Uh, all chat is not on. <laughs> right. Let me spruce up the channel real quick. Future note, don't turn on all chat. Alright, we can turn our mics back on now, Phil. Okay, okay. That should work. All right, we're waiting on Walton. There we are, good to go. There he is. Maybe right, he doesn't it... have a team banner for this game, or? No, I don't think so. We're we are one of the few teams cool enough to have a team banner. <laughs> weak, I say, weak. Now in the hopes we remember all the picks so they don't pick something up completely different. We should have that last replay, and so we uh, should should be able to get the picks and bands off of it later. Mm, all right. Uh, I'll need them to send me that though. Actually, I'll have it on Twitch. No, I don't need them to send it to me because I have it on Twitch because I'm it's casting fine. it. Good stuff. Can you guys hear me now, Phil? Good. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Something, something, Ruben is the best. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm still not really convinced on the Tinker Pick though, since they've got the other Titan, reduced magic resistance and all that, but I really feel they needed something with a strong right click. Even though Viper does offer said in the mid game, it doesn't really, how shall we say, transition well into the late game to make it a full blown out carry. I mean, Morph is gonna have Lincolns and presumably eventually BKB as well. Uh, the Tinker Elder Titan is something I have seen a, a few pro teams do actually, just for the initial crazy levels of burst that the spirit, that the uh, natural order. Oh, Jesus fucking Chris M. Wow. What is he running? His laptop is. Apologies for this once again, his laptop is complete garbage. Are we ready to go? It is garbage. Chris, I installed Dota. Holy shit. Sick. Oh man. At this point, we should just give. Um, at this point, at this point. Lost their first game by now. Yeah. This is this is almost default win territory. Like Feng should almost get a default win off of this. He's not responding in mumble. Settings to low. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Right, ready? Are we ready? I think we're ready. I'm ready. And I just got kicked. Yeah, so did I. Unable to join lobby. Woohoo! What the fuck? Uh, is Dota gone down? Don't know, but everybody's back, so let's just. That was interesting. Chris M ruined it. <laughs> is this even Dota? Hang on, I'm gonna check Steam stat in case something wonky is going on. Uh, everything should be okay. Volvo, please! Don't! Don't do this to us, Volvo! Chris M is rebooting! Oh, Christ! <laughs> Starcraft Master Race League. Are you a Starcraft player, Phil? I used to, but uh, not anymore. I yeah, I used to be as well. First game, not so much of the second. I played Starcraft 2 and got to platinum. Hey, uh, me too. I actually hey. got to platinum in what race? Solo ra ranking, eventually top platinum, like yeah, I got second position. I got so. I got the top plat, top plat, and but I couldn't beat any diamonds consistently, so I never yeah, went up. Same here. Yeah. And for teams, I was diamond, but low diamond, more yeah, like yeah. in the eighties or nineties. Um, what race? Random, to be honest. Random, nice. I was a randomer, always random. Only in StarCraft One, I actually played uh, Protoss consistently, and a bit of Terran, but never Zerg. I see. I like Zerg. I I I played. Um, I played Protoss, obviously Power Protoss. Mm -hmm. Um. But like my, I, I couldn't play Terran, but I could play a much better Zerg than I could play Terran. I random, I random Zerg once, and I beat them with. This was like Stefano's Roach Max was way out of the meta, but I still did Stefano's Roach Max, and it was like twelve minutes instead of eleven, which I thought was pretty good, uh, considering I was off race. And then I just like overwhelmed my Protoss opponent with Roaches, and they were sad. Yeah, I, uh, I in Stargate One, I nearly. Exit exclusively played the Protoss, but whenever Stargate 2 hit, I was already, my interest was a little bit waning, so I eventually just went with random to keep it, how shall we say, interesting. Interesting, yeah. And uh, it was really, it was kind of, my mastery of the races were kind of in phases first, Protoss was very good, then I kind of excelled at Terran, then Zerg really got the into their stride, but uh, never something, how shall we say, consistent. To really keep on mm. playing. I used to ladder a lot before I discovered Dota. Yeah, same here. Eventually quit that. What did I 
did I play between? Oh yeah, I played a lot of Dawn of War Retribution. Dawn of War 2. Oh really? Yeah, I was top 100 of the world there, so... <laughs> oh nice. My friend played a lot of Dawn of War, I think. I'm telling you, great game just alone for the voice acting and for the atmosphere. Had a fair share of bugs though. <laughs> Multiple face bombs coming out here. Where is that? Where are the pigs? Chris Watson. Watson said the Watson's crashed out as well. Yeah. <laughs> what is Chris M's hardware? Like, does anyone know? iPhone first gen, <laughs> Pentium 3. <laughs> War computer. <laughs> it's a Turing machine. Abab is amazed that we still haven't started. Yeah, this, is, this is really <laughs> edging into people in territory. I'd say if it hits the Quarter to, to, to ten mark, we should really call it a, a default win for the first game. This is... I don't want to blame this on one person, but this is almost entirely Chris M's fault. Mm -mm. Enabling all chat and then not booting. <laughs> Tiki Blue is college power. <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to do? Trying to plug in a continental power cord into a UK slot or something? Seriously. I think if it's going to be a mid Phoenix, going back to the Dota, if it's going to be a mid Phoenix versus a mid Tinker, I think, like, I think come level six, Fang's going to die of Tinker, and Tinker's going to be sad. Yeah, but I don't feel if he just goes for the um, the March build, I'm pretty sure the Phoenix won't be able to do anything about it. Since isn't March mixed damage? Both. It's just magical now. Oh, uh, magical now. Hmm. Chris M's back. Chris M's on his way. Uh, we should be able to manage, I suppose. But in all honesty, if he gets up tranquil boots, he should be fine. Yeah, probably. For... Until he can transition to being level six. Again, a single gank and Phoenix is going to die horribly. Oh wow, Tianyu changed his profile picture on Facebook. Yeah. He was wearing a costume, so uh, no. What a uh, what a. It's quite a handsome Asian, actually, isn't it, Tianyu? No it homo. reminded me too much of Sing Sing. No, uh, not Sing Sing. Um, Ice Ice. Uh, I can see that. Maybe that's just because he's Singaporean. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> Major racism, go! Hey, he's quite a handsome Asian. No homo, Tianyu. Mm -hmm. You heard it, Tianyu. No homo. I wonder if he's Unless watching. You pick me, we'll life. find. Then we'll find. All the homo. The funniest thing here is right. Whenever people watch the vod, we could say anything here. Like we could say like death to any particular race, mm. and like no one would ever see this because anyone who watches the vod is gonna skip straight to the start of the game. Mm -hmm. So like no one's ever gonna watch this. He's online. Where is Chris M? <laughs> People are just spamming crystals now. Does that work? Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Oh, I've only got silver. I feel like gold, a scrub. Gold, baby, gold. That's where it's at. Ooh, illusion is fake gold. Ah, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fag with the prods. <laughs> prods grip. <laughs> prods scum. Sam's wooden PC up to its usual shenanigans. Says Pete. Yeah, so the new relation thing, just me <laughs> just me and John went, so like it wasn't exactly packed. Mm. Yeah, so I I would have loved to join, but yeah. No, no. Belgium is a bit of a commute. Yeah. He's here! Let's go! Let's do this. Is he gonna load in? There's no way he's gonna load in, by the way. Yeah, no way. Load in by the, no, it's a default with videos. <laughs> but play, clean it's him. <laughs> Pray for Chris M's machine. What if Peng doesn't? <laughs> okay. If Peng if Peng doesn't load in, okay, right. Is if Peng doesn't load in, it's a default win for Ruben. That's the only way it's fair, isn't it? Really, you know. Deal. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Peng dropped his monitor out the window. <laughs> Precious oh, one, Ruben! Come on, Chris <laughs> <laughs> this swag. It's not gonna load, it's not gonna do it, it's not gonna do it. Can't do it. What does it say around Chris M? It still says he's in main menu. I have a theory that Chris M is a time traveller. It's the shitty one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Last second load. Uh... Right. Are we re ready? This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Try again. Alright, I might actually be serious about this one. They're going now, yeah. it's a default win. I think you get one more try after this, then a default win. Alright, he's got a full one, he's got the full time to load. <laughs> we had him in game! <laughs> oh shit, it says he's now been playing Dota 2. I had no idea that enabling all chat. He's just totally failed. Holy shit. No.
It's not on night. Alright, one more. One more. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Easy wins. <laughs> Phoenix is like, go. go and get him to load a bot game. We'll wait. <laughs> Are you sure? Last try, I'm out. No more. This is stupid. Just fucking go, seriously, says Ruben. A renamed hotel to Castor's Peak, home for the elderly caster. <laughs> Since we're all dying of old age here. Come on, Chris M, you have two minutes to connect to a game of Dota. Hallelujah! Glory! <laughs> Fucking finally. Alright, all pick. They should pick their heroes now. Phoenix, what a surprise. Tinker, what a surprise. Elder Titan. Good order. Solid. You know. I think they're gonna pick Ogre Magi any second now. And uh, for my. For my final trick, Disruptor. Yeah, there we go. I'm just a. I'm a wizard. I saw a blue hue and I figured they picked Zeus. <laughs> like, <"No!" laughs> that would have been amazing. Somebody just goes balls to the wall and picks Oracle and Bloodseeker. <laughs> oh, and then we have to remake, and then so somebody picks somebody picks a dumb hero, and then we have to remake, and then Chris and then Chris M doesn't load, and then we just like fucking give up. <laughs> I gotta say, I actually saw a video uh, earlier today about Sven. Kind of countering Phantom Lancer with his cleave there. Kind of. Yeah. Is he... that is that the fail video where like PL yeah, boys back? Yeah, I saw that, and it's just like the most painful thing. The Sven is obviously fat as hell, but like. True, true, with the satanic and all. Yeah, but yeah, still, but like, yeah. It was nice to see Phantom Cancer getting killed on a one in one v one that late in the game. Oh God, the Viper has abandoned. Aban no, Chris Am pro abandoned. Chris M's abandoned. Is he coming? My screen is starting to shake violently. Um, proper abandoned. Oh, dude, they're gonna have to sack game one. Is he properly abandoned? Because if you click leave game from a lobby, you can't rejoin. Okay, okay. He's definitely not abandoned then. No, it says he's abandoned in the screen. <coughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's see if he can come back. Top keg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have the uh, Radiant team moving into the moving into the bomb jungle to defend it. Uh, Clock's gonna try and be sneaky and get a ward down. Ruben's actually gonna choose to go safe lane, so he's gonna try and dodge the annoying Phoenix lane. Ribbon's probably going to try and micro uh, the Chris M on the disconnected Viper. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Can he rejoin? Does he get gold? Let us have a peek. He seems to be getting gold, so. It says Chris. Chris M is in pre-game. <laughs> no, it genuinely does. On the, if you go on Dota, it says he's in game. He. Is it giving him gold and then immediately draining it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's immediately. No, he's not getting gold. Alright, we have to restart. 
What the actual? All right. Okay. One more time, boys. Okay, let's just get through this. Oh, the pain, the pain of it all. Chris M is a solid liability. Eight minutes. Right, he got in, so there's no reason he shouldn't reload. Mm -hmm. I mean, abandon. Did he like misclick the about the, the disconnect button? Because like, if he's got lag and he wants to DC and reconnect, that's fine. But like, he must have misclicked. Like, you can't. It doesn't abandon you in a lobby game. Mhm. Mm I have actually no idea. It's never happened to me. So. No, me neither. Not in a lobby game. All right. Kinda hope somebody mispicks now. <laughs> <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. Come on, Chris. Alright, now we have to wait again. Well, it was the world's fastest draft. For all those watching the VOD, just skip to the start of the game. Yeah, for all those watching the VOD, just skip to 0053. <laughs> skip to an hour, to be honest, you know, by the time this is up. Extreme apologies here. Yeah, just put up an annotation, seriously, because this is annoying. I don't edit VODs because I'm not made of time, but on the YouTube VOD... In the YouTube VOD, I'll just start... I, I edit the YouTube VOD occasionally when yeah. this sort of thing happens, so the YouTube VOD will start on time, if that makes yeah. sense. Just cut it off. It yeah, I will, I will. There we go. Let's see what we can manage out of this game now that everybody's loaded in properly. So, here we have Chris M, the infamous Chris M on the Viper. We have RS playing the Ogre Magi, Ruben playing Tinkerino. He's going to be going safe lane. Uh, so he's going to try and dodge the annoying Phoenix uh, that Feng plays. There's going to be a Wardson Tidehunter. Uh, so it's going to be a support. It's going to be actually a support Elder Titan. So this should be interesting to see. Support Elder Titan? <laughs> some teams have, short, to some teams have been running that. So like No Tail, for example, uh, has played a lot of support Elder Titan as a, mm -hmm. as a certain as a, as a four role. And... Um, he, he goes boots level one and goes and messes up people basically, but that's obviously very high level supporting, isn't it? So yeah, indeed. I'm not too sure if these players have been training for such occasions. Still, I'm not quite sure what a double melee lane will accomplish against a raid king disruptor and a morphling. I'm pretty if the, sure if the tri lane if the tri lane raid. plays well, they should have easy, they should have an easy kill on level two on the morph, and even perhaps on level one with oh yeah. He's gone. Yeah. He's gone. Uh, He's gone agi. He's gone morph, which I think is fair. I think going morph is yeah. alright. It, it oh, of John's gonna get a haste rune. Like you can probably kill his ogre. Well, there's my... probably not. Maybe if he go if he skills battery, practice. he can probably kill the ogre. You oh no, he's gonna go cox. He, he has the advantage, so you can't really man fight an ogre. The sold, but he's already picked up cogs, nah, he's already so. picked up cogs, so. If the Viper Lane Chris M in the middle picks up a uh, a few levels of corrosive skin, this should make Phoenix life a living hell. Yeah. Right from the get go. But Phoenix is going to be making uh, Viper's Lane a living hell as well, so swings and roundabouts. Well, thing is, Viper only needs one or two attacks with his neurotoxin and this poison. Uh, what's it called again? Poison attack. So. Yeah. Even with corrosive skin whittling down the phoenix and neurotoxin, each strike from the neurotoxin poison attack will utterly cripple the middle lane. It's worth it's worth noting that uh, phoenix is actually an incredibly squishy hero, with zero with zero armor and only only five less HP than the viper. Mm -hmm. With yes, Ooh, it's really going ham, phoenix. You should be really careful, should be actually. Doing this. Oh, this is going to be first blood. I think this is a mistake. This is a first blood, definitely so. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, he gets it. Oh, that's going to be the experience going the way of Phoenix as well then. Nice little trade there. It's going to be a bit of a... Uh, 
whacking here on the mid lane. They're gonna stun to just get out of that. Fang knows what he can get away with, it seems. Yeah, thing is, just because the turning circle of the Viper wasn't fast enough, he was able to eke out a few extra milliseconds to allow the burning to... The mid is, mid is won and lost by inches, and I think, like, Phoenix is gonna claim this, like, uh... Chris M, has to, Chris M chose to walk to lane, which I disagree with. You should immediately TP, like... Phoenix is gonna be almost level... Viper is level 1, and Phoenix is gonna be going level 4 before he even hits level 3, so... Uh, that's bad news. And he's chosen to go Nether Toxin as opposed to uh, Corrosive, which I... He is behind in this lane, like... He should uh, definitely pick up uh, some Corrosive skin to... I'm sure he'll go 1-1-1. One, one, one. himself back into the fight. On the bottom lane, it seems they're not able to really make something happen since the enemy has warded off the pull camp. Pretty easy to de-ward, but if you're not trained for warding, it could prove difficult to find where the enemy has placed their wards. So let's talk about Tinker here for a second. So they have the instant silence coming out from the disruptor, and they do have the Tinker Hunter, which is clockwork. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a gank here on mid lane, but there's not, not going to be any way of coming through it. So I think they probably have okay heroes to deal with uh, Morphling, to be honest. Not Morphling, but to deal with Tinker, I think. Like, if John yeah, is on the oh, ball, what could have been the confrontation here? Is it Tinker? Oh, John, they're going to trade a bit. It's going to take a bit of damage. Yeah, he uh, should. If he wants to 1v1 this Tinker, he should really max out his battery salt ASAP. For go his other skills to. He's, uh, he, he is only level 3, so 1v1 is fine, but, uh. He is actually. They want some action on the bottom lane. Again, oh. Even though we're thinking about it. Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. I think uh, Kinetic Field might be pretty good against Tide here, but uh, it's going to lock him in. The other Titan is going to be here to follow up with the stun. Yep. This the might problem, be. The problem is here. The Red King has to land the stun, which a Kinetic Field can then follow up and trap the enemy inside. But during that time, the Morphling must be attacking the Titan to constantly in order to secure the ganks. They have only mm -hmm. got one stun and then the follow-up from the kinetic field not nearly enough to really be lenient in the plan of attack mm -hmm. i think this viper's dead once uh, phoenix hits level six i think he hits he hits fire spirits so all this can be a pause here he hits fire he hits fire spirits on 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 viper trades hits with him for a bit and then just supernovas and like it's it's very difficult only a small set of heroes can kill uh supernova yeah, considering the fact that Viper doesn't even have boots yet, uh, he'll be hard pressed to even flee from the supernova. Yeah, exactly. He has gone bottle. And he has not gone any corrosive skin, he's gone 2 2 0. So he's going to be very squishy, actually. Yeah, I'm really not too sure about his build. My, it, it's I think 1 2 but 1 2 2 or, or 1 1 1 3, maybe? He is behind, like. I'd actually even consider going 2 1 2. Then yeah, go maybe. into the Viper Strike after that. You mean the so Nether Toxin after that? Yeah, Viper Strike and then building up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so let's talk about levels here. This Elder Titan is very under leveled. Oh, he's the same level as Pete now, actually. Uh, uh, on Wraith King, uh, he's actually more under leveled. Wow, Wraith King only level 1. This is terrible. The Wraith King needs his level, level 6. Yeah, as a support, if you really want to get going, you should aim to have a level 3 near the 4 minute mark. Mm. And see if you can actually claim a kill, especially in the tri -late, claim a kill before said minute. If not, you should try to gain as much experience as you can in the forest to not only increase your impact, but... Oh, that's why. They have a... They, have a, they failed to deward. They failed to deward the uh, the sentry. Yeah. That's poor dewarding actually, because I think their I think their northern northeast sentry ward blocks the camp. Dev, uh, the sentry ward. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's. Is, no. Oh no, that doesn't, doesn't quite block the camp. But anyway, they should have cut down the tree. If they'd done the tree one, it would have been dewarded straight uh, away. The but the problem is they didn't. The thing is, it only ekes out from the radius of the northeastern ward by. Oh, that's tiny painful, bit. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, this uh, this Wraith strange. King might be in trouble actually. Oh, he's just gonna punch away. Elder Titan gets the bounty rune. They're gonna trade hits a bit. Uh, no, no natural order yet. So the, I think that would maybe would have been a kill with a natural order. Oh, John, getting very aggressive on the ogre here. I think he might go down to the battery. It is level two battery. Yeah, he's gonna die. No, no way you're out of this. So with the haste, he's done. There he goes. 
still, when you're playing a Elder Titan on as a support, you're really struggling for levels, and in order to make a decent impact, you really need that uh, Echo Stump primarily over the natural order. If you're more of a, an off lane or a core in general, you can gain uh, a lot more levels more quickly, so natural order is a decent pickup at that time. But uh, even though he doesn't really have the, mo the mana pool to abuse both spells, he, whenever he sure he can, he should be able to make something happen with both actives. So I think John, as he's off to an excellent start, getting a solo kill on a support, should pick up a bottle here and look to apply pressure. But uh, he usually tends to rush a different item other than like he doesn't tend to go bottle. But I think that would yeah, be smart given I've his seen, good early game. What I've seen from the from the clockwork here with. Uh, a bottle wouldn't really be the best for now, since the ogre is constantly either checking the room, and the bottom room is nowhere near to be claimed. So I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks going for it. it. Yeah, thanks going for it. Oh, he's dead. Definitely so. There he goes. He goes down. Phoenix is a fair and balanced hero. It's a power. That's it does same. seem it does seem a little bit like bullshit that towers can't kill the egg. Yeah, but oh, this ogre might be dead as well. Don't think it'll come to that since the tower really is hammering in on that only one point of uh, of arm at level seven. John has gone bottle actually. Yeah, so. I've seen, it's, but I don't know if it'll get much use out of it if the ogre keeps on pressuring the top room. But uh, saying that, like, Oka died to pressure the previous top rune, and John got this rune and the other one, so. Touché, touché. John's gone 2 1 2. This is skill build. It seems our uh, Raid King is also being able to actually gain some levels now, now that the wards have uh, dissipated. Mm hmm. Be picking up level 4, Raid King getting level 2. So, uh, who's winning on XP? It's about dead even on experience, actually. I think because there's a lot of that experience backed up in the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he has gone corrosive skin now, so he's gone two two one as his build. Mm, yeah, there's no no way no way that Viper can kill him now. He's got dive. Considering the other lanes, Tinker is well on his way for his tra boots of travel. Yeah, should so. have that very soon, I think, in about two quick waves time. Oh, John is getting ballsy here. Ruben is going to try and march him down. Oh, is the ogre, the ogre's going to go down. He's going to get him. Oh, John gets claims a kill. He's going to try and bottle himself up. He doesn't quite have enough mana for TP. I think he'll just TP himself out in uh, 10 seconds, probably. A close one, indeed. Oh, steady, steady. The other Titan actually doesn't have enough mana. Oh, nice cogs from John. He can just walk Very himself well home now. Very well, nice, nicely played from Jack. Down to the wire, but really good. At and uh, this is, uh, we've seen this here before. Yes, this Chris M dead. is dead. Don't even try, Chris M. You can't, what are yeah, you supposed that, to think? That's the thing. Hit a single fire spirit and Phoenix will just Destroy. burn your face off with his ultimate. Yep. I think the decision, I think maybe he could have gotten out. Like, he does have boots. Mm -hmm. Um... I think he probably could have escaped. I'm going to try and put a lot of pressure here on mid. And uh, Phoenix gets a regen rune. Oh, he might go on this ogre here. No no spells on Fang, unfortunately. Yeah, the ogre, even though he's trying it's going to be a Viper TP, but Viper doesn't have his ulti. If uh, he lands... Oh, he lands a, second, lands a second stun. I think this ogre's a dead man. There he goes. They're going to sacrifice the... Uh... Oh, nice glimpse back there from Pete, actually. They might be able to finish off Chris M. John, ho John hooks in. But this is turning out. Oh, Fang! Fang dodges the Ravage. I think they're just gonna trade on John here. Although he does, he might be able to get out. Like he does have ball charges. Ruben TP does, TP's in as well. Does have to travel now. John's gonna be able to cog soon and just run away. Oh, John's gonna live. Needs to break off. There's too many radiant heroes at this time. Really nice, nice beat. ganks here. Yep. I think. The uh, thing is, even though the Radiant are less mobile than the Dire at this time, it seems they're getting way more out of these trans out of these deals, way more out of these transactions. They had a nice glimpse back there by Pete, and also a nice, nice hook in by John, so... Making it happen. Again, Morphling farming away, going straight for that Perseverance into the Lincoln Sphere. Morphling with extremely high CS, actually, playing very well here. Doing better than Ruben. The Tinker actually... 
skipped his soul ring in order to get boots of travel up quicker but i don't know if that's the right solution without I'd soul ring the boots of travel are more of a nuisance on your mana pool than anything else Man, I'm, I'm now going to rotate the Tinker into the mid. He'll he'll have Soul Ring before you know it, though. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they are going to facing. They are going to trade. They're going to trade spells here in the jungle. I'm gonna, Chris M's looking to try and make something happen here. Morphling's yeah, very they, aware of it. They fear. They fear the Morphling now more than ever since they know this. Now he's building his perseverance. This might be the only time they have to stop him completely. Mm -hmm. They are. To an extent, wasting their time. Ooh, steady. Clockwork bottles and Imbus run. So he might look to do. Uh, John might look to main try and make something happen here with uh, with with power cogs, battery assault, and hookshot. I think almost is definitely a kill on the tinker of his core position. Yes, if the phoenix moves in, the hookshot hits. It's a dead tinker, no doubt. Still, both teams being tentative in the bottom lane, trying to see who will make the first move. Yeah, they're just gonna wait. I think they're gonna wait for him. They are stacking ancients for Wardson. Well, Wardson's actually doing ancients now. So he has a nice little ancient stack here. I didn't notice he had that. So that's gonna be a nice little recovery farm here for the Tide Hunter. Mm -hmm. Has to be careful though. Might die. Doesn't have any levels in Kraken Shell yet. Still, a level seven Tide Hunter should be able to mash down an, a stack of uh, ancient creeps in. Well, they are gonna. Tentivis. Bottom lane again, trading a few pot shots, nothing more, nothing less. Still, Morphling getting considerably low against the neuro neurotoxin of the Viper. On the top lane, bottle out for the Tinker, but still no cell ring. I think John's hunting him. John wants him. Mm -hmm. John wants you know, him so this badly. Is the time to, this may be the last window of time to really stop the Tinker before he spins out of control and picks up a Dagon. John's got TP. Like uh, wherever that Tinker goes, John is going to follow him. The Tinker is going to the mid lane, so I wouldn't be surprised if John popped Invis ruin and TP and went against Snipe the Tinker. We can finish up the creep wave first, I think. And he got limited time. He's going to go soon. I feel that both the Dire side and the Radiant side are Radiant less so, but are wasting their time down here at the bottom lane. They're trying to make something happen, not trying to overproject that, not going in just to risk all their necks, but they're losing a lot of valuable time on this, on these supports here. They're all only level four and they really should try to move in for that level six and make more plays happen. John is now popped his invis ruin, but Tinker's on the other side of the map, unfortunately. Um, they, they could try and get a kill on Walson while he's doing his ancients and his vulnerable. Yeah, but I doubt they have knowledge of that, of that at, at, at this time. They're more concerned with either the Tinker or actually looking down the bottom lane and see what is going on. Ooh, there is a I real Mexican first. standoff here. Yeah, Indeed. lots of time is being wasted Viper on both sides. Yeah, I think they're going to get him. Oh, there we go. Nice cogs. cogs. That's a dead Chris M. No way out of this. He has been silenced up. Uh, right. Wraith King stuns up the Ogre. Waffle Frisbee still going in, but his teammates are not... Uh, Ruben is out of position. Him. I think Ruben might be able to blow up the Morphling here. Oh, steady on. He, I think he's going to go down. He's going to try and strength him off. He might just have enough in him. Yeah, I'm going to commit Ravage to kill off the Morphling. Oh, he tries to TP, but it's not enough. Costly commitment, though. And uh, John is going to go down as well. So that's going to be a streak going to uh, triple Ruben. Kill uh, the tinker. Triple kill on the Tinker. Definitely would. Spilling Ravage for that one. Yeah. Dire team spent, but already 1,780 gold on the Tinker. That's going to make him a very easy day gone. And that's his blink. Ah, uh, you'll go blink first. That might ha happen too. Like, there's no reason he wouldn't have bought nulls if he was going day gone. True. This Viper's sad. 2, 5, yeah. and 3. 40 minutes into the game and still not even upgraded boots. It's He does have face boots at this time but still it, he should have had so much more already. So what's a good recovery build as Viper then? Pete Ogre is trying to try and go ham here on the Pete. Clock is going to TP in I think. Oh nice nice trap there. Each they are going to get him. Yeah there we go. They got him. This is very nice. a very dead. This is a dead Ogre I think. 
Clockwork should really try to bail at this time. Oh, Elder Titan's so gonna punch him. Ooh. Ooh. What a hit. Oh, John. Again, the, the march of the machines going to work. Yeah, absolutely doing work. Really where is where is Feng? Oh, nice, nice TP actually, really nice. Well played. Seeing that nobody understand and went for the escape. Still, regards to the Viper. Even though I don't play too many of the uh, uh, Viper games, I do feel he, re if he's falling behind, he should focus on getting gross skin, maxing his poison attack, and getting a few bulk items. Uh, drum is pretty safe item to go for. Not too cost, uh, not too costly like a mechanism or so, and it provides decent overall stats for the price it's, uh, it asks. Complements the phase boots quite well as well. Hmm. Your phase drums Yasha for the uh, the race car sort of build. Yeah, definitely. So he can do more of a hit and run tactic and perhaps finish off a few enemies. Oh, I'm lagging. Are you lagging? No, I should be fine. Alright, I've got to disconnect. I'll just reconnect. You don't need to pause for me. It seems the first item for our Phoenix here is a Vela Discord. <laughs> Pretty strong item. I've never built it myself, but uh, I can see where he's coming there's, from. There's two lines of Phoenix. There's like there's like Mech Phoenix, and then there's Damage Phoenix, which tends to go for like a Dagon. A lot of high Phoenix, high level Phoenix players go for a Dagon to try and participate a bit more, because he lacks a bit of burst, really, Phoenix. So they try and complement that out with the Dagon. Alright, seems like someone else DC'd as well. They paused to me, I think? They paused uh, for Wilson. Yeah, they had some lag issues on the, I believe, Dire team there. Okay, great. Yeah, it's interesting to see this, uh, this damage build since I'm more of a healing supporting Phoenix. So I usually go with the mechanism route. I have to say, they've actually been semi-successful in shutting down this Morphling. Like, uh, Chris M is actually now ahead of levels of the Morphling. Yeah, while well, he was spinning out of control earlier with his crazy farm, it's kind of pe peathering out at this time. There's going to be a supernova here. Fang is going to try and snipe down the ogre. Oh, he's got to be oh, careful. Oh, he might have to, he might pay the price here. Oh, he's going to run, he's smartly run out of March of the Machines. He's going to TP out. Ogre! Oh, Oh. Close. Close escape. Quite so. Again, Phoenix really heading the spearheading the level chart, and maybe let's see total net worth. Ah, it seems the Tinkers overcoming both the Phoenix and the Morphling in terms of net worth. And Don't. Skeleton King is going to pick up level six. Uh, very late to be honest, but sorely needed if he tries to make any more plays. Better late than never. That indeed, that indeed. Let's see for our other heroes, we have o also Ogre, level 6. Decent build so far. Or the Venom. <laughs> well, not really the item I'd be going for, but at least he's got something. Indeed. And Blink. Ruben is going to be cheekily farming their jungle. Blink already online for the Tinker. Steadily building for his next item. I'm surprised to not see more hook shots out of the clockwork there. John is very conservative with hook shots. Mm -hmm. uh, they are having lag on the ogre. Still, uh, it, it's, yeah. it's a tiny cool on down, even on level 1, 70 seconds. I think that it's is why he's trying. I think he is going to rush an eggs to try and get that big cooldown. Well, they are going to kill the Viper here for it. Well, there he goes. The tower actually doesn't get denied up. John, where's the cogs? He's alone. They should kill him. Oof. Oh, they, they cancelled the TP. Lucky, lucky there. It was for that battery assault. He might have escaped. He really don't want to use the hook. Uh, the fangs. Oh, there we go. The hook when fangs here. Everything actually off the mark here. This is taking a spectacularly long time. Yeah, fang picks him off. Again, if he would have purchased the drums, he would be able to withstand all that damage and even flee the enemy with the exabursive speed. Yeah, I think he's a bit too behind for a mech. They might not necessarily even help them, like against Phoenix, for example. The timing's still decent, but he hasn't got the mana pool to really abuse it. Right, John has picked up his level 11 now, so he is ahead of the Tidehunter now. Tidehunter's still farming up ancient stacks. Still Tidehunter still packing his blink dagger, farming happily away. Mm -hmm. He should be 
Should be able to claim this creep wave on bottom, so that'll be this level 11. Mm -hmm. For sure. Whoa, well, that's a lot of creeps actually. I think it's fear secured up on the morning. Farm's still going steadily. Ribbon farming very well. About a thousand gold from a Dagon, I think. 900 ish, something like that. I can't remember how much Dagon recipe is. Uh, I believe it's 1250 gold at this time. Mm. They upgrade the cost a bit. Yes. Let's see. Excuse. Radiant is consolidating they their might, power. They may try and snipe off the Tinker. Yeah, but the problem is, even though he, he can teleport in and disrupt the camp, clips back enemy heroes, it doesn't really matter for the Tinker. So he just rearms. If anything, you don't want to glimpse back. You don't want to glimpse back the Tinker of anything. Uh, John needs John needs to buy blade mail and pick him off. I think. As, as I was going to say before, I kind of feel that both the Morphling and Phoenix are doing quite well, but really can't keep up or disrupt the Tinker in his his complete rampage over the map. Oh, they know they warded there. That was a cheeky ward for them to put down. They, they know that's there now. They'll get that dewarded before long, I'm sure. Uh, Pete, the ward bitch, Pete, will uh, get on that. Continue to stack ancients here. Mm -hmm. So worth noting, to anyone who doesn't know, you should try and pull dire ancients e, uh, west rather than north, because the spawn box encompasses this tree. Yeah, this this little spot is actually one of my uh, oh, spots to It's going to be a cheeky, cheeky ruin steal. I thought they were going to try and kill the ogre, but they uh, decided not to. Oh, Phoenix taking a lot of damage from the Tinker. Oh, he's going to get out. Hook, hook, hook. Oh, he wasted that hook on the Ogre. Yeah, he, he probably, the creep probably jumped in as a sort of bodyguard there because he was yeah. being allured by the f f uh, Supernova's damage. But right now, I think Aghanim's on clock is the most important item so that he can have that hook shot off to snipe Tinker yeah, wherever he may be. He's currently way too tentative with his uh, ultimate ability. He should be spamming that without remorse. In order to claim both the um, the Tinker... They're saying that he did just use it to snipe a Ruin off from the Ogre, but that ended up costing them. Mm -hmm. Dyer making for a push on the mid lane here. Finding out the Raid King. Oh, the Raid King's going to go down. His ult is going to connect. Are they going to let him die? Yeah, I think so. I think this is one dead Tinker. Yeah, it's a huge shame. One dead Raid King. Wasted that, that ultimate there. If possible, if you're a low level support. Now uh, Ruben team, blinks into trees. They, they know Ruben's there, they should snipe him off. John, snipe off the Tinker. Again, John. Waffle Frisbees. Yeah. He's got the tools at hand, but he doesn't want to reveal his hand or play it as he should. Perhaps. Again, in this position, I would have said no, it wouldn't have been a, a wise move to hookshot since he would have been there all alone against four but still a few times before might have been better well, there is, gonna, Morphling and Tinker are going to trade blows here Morphling's going to a bit of harassment they are going to pick up a vi uh, mechanism on the Viper now so. nice tank item from him Fang sitting here with sitting comfy with 4000 gold Morphling That's and Tinker going ham on each other still the extra morph to strength nullifies anything the Tinker can offer here Smart play from Morph, makes a replicate TP's home, we'll come back soon. Although maybe not if uh, this is going to be a huge four-man gank here. Ah, he's no way he's coming back to that illusion. You know, there's like... There's like it's a whole party surrounding it. clean up the illusion just to limit the Morphling's mobility. Yes. Oh, the uh, Feng is getting very aggressive here. This again, may once again be a kill for the uh He knows Panda. he can take this Viper down without remorse, so why shouldn't he? There he goes. The thing is, the more they can shut down this Viper, oh, Ruben more. just Ruben takes it, takes the mega still kill streak Phoenix on thing. Still claims Viper's head. Again, it's 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 a worse trade for the Radiant since Tinker is going to be the main hurdle to overcome, and feeding him with your fed Phoenix, not the trade you want to be making. Dig on two now for Ruben. Ruben is farming like an absolute maniac. And he's almost styling down to dig on number three. 200 more gold, and he's already up another level. Let's see. Clockworks, Magnum Scepter still not coming along. Still 700 gold off that. And Morphling might have to uh, blink himself out of there. Yeah, there he goes. 
I'm not going to pursue that one out. I'm surprised to see that the Morphling's item progression, even though it was rapidly building a Lincoln Sphere in the beginning of the game, has stalled completely. He's still struggling to make, to build a Yasha right after the Lincoln Sphere. Hmm. He'll find his farm. He's actually, he's actually second on net worth against the, the rather fed Phoenix, so he's doing okay, I think. I think his item like progression is okay. I'll have his Yasha soon. I fear it won't be going fast enough at how at the blinding speed at which the Tinker is overtaking the map at this point at, at this point. Dagon three now on the Tinker, so we're gonna see if he goes Dagon five or goes home. Whether he's gonna move into more utility items like Ethereal Blade or Sheepstick. Mm -hmm. I believe he'll need more of a either hex or the Ethereal Blade. I think Hex is mandatory gear this game because, like, Morphling could just man up and blow up the Tinker. Mm -hmm. Like, BKB is often a very late item for a Tinker. So, a, like, the, the shotgun, should he choose to build it, will destroy Tinker. As will Blade Mail if Clock chooses to pick that up, or Wraith King. But it looks like he's gonna go blink the Wraith King. He's picking up the Yasha first, so I reckon he'll want a Manta style. Morphling reveals down. himself. I think Morphling's in big trouble here. He's to micro that illusion. Moving that replicate. Oh, sneaky. Really nice play there, actually. From oh, Lips. really close play, but he gets out of there. Very well played indeed. It was very close one. Oh, they get him with the... They snipe him off with the Elder Titan split. That was nice. Well played indeed. Yeah. Grand kill. Really aiding the Dias calls here. Yeah, that's helping them out. They need to get Tinker though. There is going to be no trees for Tinker to hide in now because that's like, destroyed them all. Mm -hmm. Might be best to move up to the bottom lane where it's a lot more wallet and safer to actually push out that tower. So yeah, this is Feng's build. He likes he likes uh, he likes Veil, and then he goes if he's stomping everybody, he goes Radiance to try and do a bit more stomping. One of the first Radiance that I've actually seen on the Phoenix. It's, it's, it's quite a, how shall we say, teamed item feat, yeah. It is a, it's an item you have to get quickly. Like, it is going to fall off as a damage item, certainly. I think Wraith King is going to do well against Tinker late game, because, like, uh, he's, you can't just pick him off, can he? Yeah, but the main thing with Wraith King here is he's been crushed so hard, and he doesn't really have the items to be a tanky... Tanky nuisance to Tinker. He has 1,200 HP at this time, but the Tinker, the Tinker can do. Yeah, he can burst that easily. Yeah, since he's already got take on four, take on five on the way. I don't think that even, even that will be enough. That's why I'm also quite confused why you'd pick up a Radiance uh, on a Phoenix against the Tinker. I'd say a Heart of Tarask or. It's going to cancel the blink. It's going to oh. cancel the blink, though, isn't it? I think that might be what Feng's true. thinking. That is true. It is diff it is difficult. Like you can you can refresh refresh blink and then try and shift Q, but it's difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're under pressure of a gank say from Phoenix. Definitely. Still, I feel if he doesn't pick up a health item soon, Tinker will just blow him out of the water, even if he be forcing him to go for the supernova. No, I agree. Nearly level 16 on that on the Phoenix. Uh, they're gonna babysit the uh, the Tide Hunter here. The Tide Hunter is gonna be picking up Shivas. Yeah, Chris M just trying to leech off a tiny few points of XP just to get himself a bit more ahead in the game. Well, I think I think Chris M is three at this point and Tide Hunter is two. Definitely, since Chris M has been being so consistently crushed, they can't really count on him making additional items in. A short amount of time, so they'll have to shift the priorities a bit. It seems already nearly as cheap as on the Tide Hunter. Quite a big pickup. Mm. Especially so, so now John needs minutes. to John needs to think on the next level. Now he needs to anticipate a Tinker. He needs to buy a Blade Mail, and he needs to kill him. Uh, and like Clockwork is one of the few hit heroes that can hunt down a Tinker along with a Storm Spirit and a few others. Mm -hmm. But John needs to think, like, where is Ruben going to be? Like, um, Again, I do feel him. that 
nearly everybody except for the disruptor should be considering a blink mail uh, uh, a blink mail at this time. Yes. All of them have decent enough HP pools to make it work. Dagon five now on Tinker. So he's gonna be busting people down like there's like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pete needs to be careful. Boom, there you go. Bye bye Pete. Uh, Alright, he knows that he is uh Dagon five now. Disgusting build indeed. Yeah, it's painful to play as a support player. But Pete knows that now, so if he sees the TPing in Tinker, he has to be careful. And the Morphling, they're, looking, they're going to look to try and pick off the Morphling here. I think he's just going to get himself up. Is the split going to be enough? Oh, he gets out just in time. Morphling, Morphling creating space for his team. Mm -hmm. They know they, they can't. If the game goes super late, Morphling will eventually outweigh their, their Tinker advantage. So they're trying to delay them as much as possible while Tinker reigns supreme in the mid game. Dons should be looking for kills. Still nothing out of that hook, that Aghanim Scepter hook shot. Yep, why buy Ags if you're never gonna hook? Alright, saying that, he's going for it, he's going for it. I think this Ogre is probably dead. Cancelling. I'll just YOLO it. Oh, uh, Hook's actually gonna miss. Ooh, Bang is gonna get bust much. down. They oh. got the Phoenix and now even the Clockwork. This is disastrous. Oh, nice TP from John there. Just DP oh. straight out under everybody's nose. Very nice. Rain calm under pressure. Really, really saving his hide there. Saving himself. That was a good. That was a good play to TP out. Definitely so. Well, they are gonna go here on the Elder Titan. I think he's dead. No way he's out of this. There he goes. Bam. There's gonna be a Tinker TPing in here. I don't think he can bust down Wraith King. And if he does, there's no Wraith point. King definitely, but I'm not sure about the Morphling. Morphling has way more. Oh, they're gonna get him! Whoa, that's an unstoppable streak Wraith. going to Morphling. That was bad. Elf that was a Wraith misplay. Indeed. Good thing the Wraith King came back in. LZ might have not been able to finish off the. I think that was a bit of a misplay from Ruben there. Like, uh, he wasn't really very sure who to go on. Yeah, he wasted his nukes and then. Oh, the Morphling's gonna go down here now. Oh! Replicate, so strong. Again, the two key players in this game, Morphling on the Radiant team and Tink on the Dire, really holding it together for their, their teams. Arteezy really playing well here. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Got too easy for Arteezy. Seems like... Uh, it seems just John consider, something. Red King is definitely considering the... Uh, Blade mail considering. Yeah, the there's the blade mail, so that's John. good. So that'll uh that'll give Tinker a hell until he gets either a Yules or a BKB, probably BKB eventually. Mm -hmm. Titan would have finished up Shiva's Ogre actually going straight for the Aghanims. Oh John actually misses with the cogs there. Quite a shame. Yeah, that was a shame. Maybe he didn't want to commit even to even it. Though but he, he he's playing quite confident on the clockwork doesn't seem to be able to get the most out of the hero as he'd like to. I think Fang is going to try and pick off the pick off the Tinker here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there he goes. Right, he has to make a decision. Oh, he's dead. There he goes. Nice play from Very Fang well there. Played. Again, not too sure about that ghost step today. So that's not that's twice that Tinker has died in this in the space of about three minutes. So that's really going to put a dent in his net worth. The Morph's almost caught straight up on this. I'm not really sure why he bought a Ghost Scepter here. There's so much magical damage on the Radiant team at this time. The Phoenix is nearly purely magical, Clockwork's all the same. And Morphling's shotgun will obliterate Tinker if he ever goes to Tier. Yeah, it's not Phoenix's right clicks you're afraid of, is it? Mm -hmm. He should have gone for a, a, a Hex or a BKB in order to not only tank himself up. But oh, a nice hook there from John. He's gonna hook, he's gonna hook on two. Walton's gonna get silenced up for, for, for forever. Ooh, Walton doesn't manage to TP no, himself out there. CP. No, he would have. He would have got battery. There was no way he was getting out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, they are gonna clean that up. But really, a bit of a miss disengagement there. Fighting for the really five. Away their advantage uh, they had the entire game. Side four, the mid lane. So it looks like uh, Clock is gonna build into a a hood of defiance into a pipe of insight instead of uh, that blade mail to go tinker hunting. Again, should be a decent pickup against the Tinker with all his. Uh, no longer shall they be brown. <laughs> Pete's very happy. Again, 
it, it's a great day for support if you can buy and upgrade your boots before the 30 minute mark. Come kill me at the secret shop. Don't be too tempted. Make him too tempted. Oh, yeah, don't tempt him. Alright, Morphling's gonna get himself out of there. Doesn't have a replica. Gets, gets skill cast. In come the Waffle Frisbee. Oh, kill that creep. There we go. Well played. Close, 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 close. Oh, more skill casts. Again, the skill. The skill <laughs> multicasts. Really. Oh. Oh, Oof. Waffling. Moth not gonna save you against burst damage. Pierced by the combined efforts. Needs to be careful. Wraith King is uh where's Fang up? What's Fang up to? Fang's just gonna Fang's is is uh farming well. He's gonna have his Shivas in about five hundred gold. So yeah, I'm quite surprised why he doesn't build a single strength item. I feel it could really <laughs> aid him when he tries for many of his spells. Fang 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 is, you know, too smart. He feels uh too strong. He thinks he can get supernova off and he doesn't need strength. Uh -huh. And then he can have uh thirty five hundred effective HP. All right, now's uh, now's the play for the bottom lane. Now's the clockwork's time to shine. Snipe someone off. I do feel he he's actually weaker in a team fight. He, he can disrupt with cogs and such, but oh, this is their moment. Maybe Wait, they can try. Oh, there goes there goes the Wraith King. They're going on the Viper. Mechanism has been used. Viper does have BKB. Clockwork needs to back himself out. Tidehunter's going to go. Fang is not. Fang manages to get Supernova off, so he is going to live. Clockwork's just going to TP himself out, but can't get out in time for the Viper. The Viper's going to pick him off. Here comes Morphling. Uh, Fang is going to just blink away. Really bad communication there for Radiant Team. Raid King moved in and wasted his ultimate ability before his team was actually even in position. As soon as he died a second time, only then did the Morphling and the Phoenix come to aid their allies. But again, it was all for naught at that time. So I think Ruben is going to be going Ethereal Blade. Is he is banking a lot of gold? Um, yeah, def definitely. And he did buy a Ghost Scepter. Ghost Scepter. Yeah. As a tinker, you don't really pick up a Ghost Scepter against this lineup unless you want to go Ethereal Blade. Oh, Fang's got to be careful. Fang's going to go down. Ooh. Again, not being able to get off that supernova. Oh. Morphling is going to pick up the Elder Titan, but this is. Oh, nice. Replicate nice, out. Nice, nice replicate out. Bam. Getting careful there, Peter. Yeah, there goes Pete. The Valiant have to contribute, but not against three of the cores of the enemy team. No. Morphling's playing well, though, managing to get snipes out of bad situations and just uh, replicate himself for freedom. He's going to be going Eye of Scardi. And there, that is, there it is, Ethereal Blade on the Tinker. It's good. It's good thing he's picking up the Eye of Scarly. Not only is he out increasing his damage output, but also increasing the tankiness to overcome Tinker's burst. No, yeah, yeah, it's a nice item. I think it's a good item in this situation. He's gonna have. Uh... He's still gonna have that Elder Titan problem though. It's worth mm -hmm. noting. Yes, if he ever eventually gets too close, he might actually have to invest in an armor item. But again. There's not too much right click on the Dire team, so even though they can strip away all the Morphlix armor, it doesn't matter. Really yeah. Matter. Only the Elder. The, mag the magic resistance is probably a bigger deal. Yeah. Then. I think so maybe Morph will try and go late game BKB, and then yeah, then like he'll have a 10 second BKB late game. He's getting very aggressive here. Well, steady on. This Morphling going very, like pretty ham actually. Oh, that Again, was a bit of... just enough mana for a single rearm, spelling the end for Morphling there. Clock couldn't pick him off. Breaking still farming up in the jungle, going for a semi carry build here with the Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Not so much wards coming out of the of either teams here anymore. This Red King's just going YOLO. He's like, I'm taking no. Screw you guys. I doubt he really has the items for this one. Nah, he's committing. He's committing, but I, I do feel he, he probably has to break off when Roshan hits half of his HP. Yeah, there he goes. He gives up. He's like, no, not today. I didn't want to take Roshan anyway. Mm -hmm. More like nope. unable to, but still. <laughs> it's gonna, uh, 
at level 16 soon, so that's going to be nice for him. He's going to have immortality every 60 seconds. Yeah, so it's, it's really... Oh, Pete's dead. Bam. See you later, Pete. Boom. Pete should have glimpsed him back. Hookshot hook. off the mark. Oh, finally that's... using the hook and just out the mark. Not really where you want to be with other agonyms. Oh, he's going to pay the price. Maybe you can snipe him off. Like, he's not going to have mana for anything more. Oh, they, they do actually, they do cancel this blink. Really Morphling, trouble. he's actually completely out of mana. John needs to re-engage. Uh, Ribbon, Ribbon is going to have blink. Oh, it's off again. Oh, they've got Quelling Blade. Oh, they break the wrong trees. They know where he is. They know where he is. Oh, he's dead. There he goes. He is long gone. And... Again, he stayed around too long. Even with the Ravage from his team, he won't be able to make it happen. Oh, the, uh, the Phoenix Ult's going to come out. Phoenix Ult is going to stun up Chris M. And uh, his BKB, his charge, is going to get almost entirely wasted by Hookshot and uh, Phoenix Ult. Chris M is going to burn down. Still there we go. See you later. No, it, it hadn't. Even though he wanted to aid his team there, it didn't really work out. Tidehunter is going to DC. He has decent items, but not enough to really make it happen. So, a couple of things from that fight, though, we know, like, Radiant needs to really kill off Tinker and do it quick. Like, they almost turned it around there. Yeah, the only problem here with Tinker was that he ran out of mana, trying to kill off the clock, clock and then failing. And he should have backed away and actually refilled S his mana pool. Yeah, should have settled for Pete, been like, okay, I got Pete, TP home, mm -hmm. come back, and then uh, try and kill off clock with a double volley. But since he only had the single volley there, he kind of shot himself in the foot by spending all his mana on, 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 on such an attack. Mm. This Phoenix doing absolute work here. I think Phoenix is going to start getting respect banned. Not to this game. Spank, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at this being like, I don't want any of this disgusting nonsense. I'm, I'm kind of not sure what he might invest in next. He's got Shiva already. Eh? Maybe he'll go blade mail or heart. Mass blade mail is gonna wreck Tinker. If they have if they have three blade mails and they stand in much, like Tinker might just die from that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, you know, John can buy a mask of madness and a blade mail, and then they can uh, kill Tinker that way. You know, Bloodseeker is an extraordinary hero to get uh, to get blade mail on these days. Yeah. Especially with the new reworked Blood yeah. Rage there. It's actually disgusting. Mm -hmm. I played it against it a few times. It's BKB time every time. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, for those who are out of the loop, you can uh, in you can increase the amount of damage that you deal and you take. So you can cast that on yourself and your opponent. Mm -hmm. And then it works out to a damage amp of about 3.9 times the amount that they put in if you blade mail them. And so uh, you cast a uh, 400 damage nuke, and they take Ooh. 1600 damage. So that hurts. Yeah, I think Blade Mail's core on New Bloodseeker. Everyone's still going four stuff because they think Rupture is a good spell. Mm -hmm. Even with <laughs> the the increased cooldown, uh, I mean increased duration, it's actually it's worse. I think it's worse. Worse, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's it's nice to see the graphic blood pouring out of the enemy, but just stand still and doesn't even get additional damage and also yeah it's uh, it's awful like you used to be able to kill secure with it almost and then like you do you, you almost kill them off and then they'd have they'd be nearly dead so they'd have to either run and like you could tp from bloodseeker if you were stupid mm -hmm. and tried to rupture you from full yeah but if you were half hp and you ruptured you you were pretty much dead mm -hmm. but now it's like you get ruptured at half hp you walk under your tower and then tp mm -hmm. and then nothing happens or you just like or you just man up because you didn't take that initial nuke. And sometimes you can kill him. But yeah, it's a garbage spell now. Almost like, almost worth skipping in favor of stats. It's so garbage, I think. Well, it's not in ganking. But aside from that, it's pretty much hopeless. Really. Might be good in a hectic team fight right off the bat, but aside from that, pff, leave it as it is. Might be good against heroes like Lycan, perhaps. Mm hmm. He can't chase people down at his ridiculous move speed. Actually, Bloodseeker, I reckon, is probably very good against Lycan. Bloodseeker can move faster than Lycan. 
I think he'll probably flush him out when he faces Roche. Yeah, and can silence, it, can silence him as well. And if he tries to do any cheeky early game jungling, although any bad Lycans will do that. But even still, like, I think Bloodseek is probably an all round a pretty good counter. Pete going for the old Bracerino Stackerino build. A la Sing Sing. Mm -hmm. Should be able to. Yeah. How much? How much more health is he going to get from that? Another. About another hundred health, I think. So it'll be annoying, but still not that big a deal. Ethereal Blade and. Uh, Dig on five is going to be more than enough. Yeah, I I, I do feel Tinker it really should make either end or break the enemy's base within the next eight minutes or so. Whenever we reach the 15 minute mark, Tinker's strong, but he won't be, get any bigger than this with his six slotted. Doesn't take break. towers either. He does no damage whatsoever to towers. Mm -hmm. Even if you go the Manta build, he still does no damage to towers. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Manta build is not as good as blowing and, up heroes. And again, they don't have any silences, so aside from maybe locking their way out of cogs, I doubt Manta would be the preferred item. Yeah, indeed. But uh, that's you see that you see professionals do that when they want to break base with Tinker. Uh -huh. um, but no, they don't have that option available to them. I think Feng should maybe go Sheepstick. He's actually going to go Refresher though, by the looks of things. Yeah. Or maybe a Lincoln Sphere. Perseverance, I would say, he's going to go Refresher. Want to get that double Nova? Double Nova is good. Work spending his hook shot again. Wraith King's actually beginning to farm up pretty nicely, actually. Almost overtaking the Viper on uh, net worth. Yeah, but that's going to be bad news for Team Ruben when that happens. Thing I think. is, Wraith King is just jungling all day for every day since both teams are deferring from fighting each other I'm, mm. I'm not really sure Dyer should be so calm and passive about this look at uh, Scarlet finished up on Morphling now so he's gonna need to get by back soon if we are going into the later stages of the game pressure up on the Tidehunter as well. Neither team also choosing to take Roshan. Neither really has a decent lineup. I think Radiant so. can Radiant can do it now. Radiant can with the Raid King and the Morphling. Dire only option is actually Viper in conjunction with the Yoga mm. or the Elder Titan. If uh I think if if Dyer's lineup if Radiant's lineup had been on Dyer, they would have done Roshan at least twice, I think. Oh definitely. The, even though the pit doesn't, it seems to be in a more neutral position, I do feel Radiant has a small advantage over it, when it's just... Do you mean Dyer has a small game. advantage over it? No, uh, for the lower games I'd say Radiant, since they have more open space to... Uh, fight around. Yeah. So Aghanim Scepter picked up on Ogre Magi, so that's going to be a nice little burst there. To follow, maybe nice to follow up with. Uh, It'll make him a bit more relevant in the fights. So yeah. He's an extra spell to work with, but uh, we'll see how much he'll be able to make it make it happen. Wow, it costs five hundred mana. That spell's so expensive. And the thing is, it's it's a uh, fixed. Yeah, fixed yeah, I know, I know, spell. I know. But uh, it can still, if you if you do a volley, you're going to be out of mana. They only have mana yeah. for the the but unrefined. It's constantly switching. It's it's a six, sixty percent uh, cost of your current mana pool. So even if you're down to forty HP, uh, forty mana, you should still be able yeah, to yeah. cast an refined fire blast. I think they should take Roshan. I think they might have the control for it. If they smoke in, I reckon they can do it. I think I believe they should do something at least because I'm falling asleep. Yeah, it's a slow game. Not like our games with Tian Yu, where we fuck them up from the word go. You know it. That handsome Asian. We'll never play Abaddon again. <laughs> we'll never ever. Well, thanks never playing a Phoenix again if they win this game. Mm -hmm. 
all eagerly huddling themselves around Roshan Pit. Still yeah, I think both teams are thinking bit. about it at this point. Oh, nice brave Ogre, Ogre Scout there, Roshan. Like, hmm, mm -hmm. I'll run in there with my history and I'll be fine. <laughs> Especially not get stunned up and blown to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they have clockwork. Oh, they might think this is the real Wraith King. Yeah, they do. Are they going to commit Ravage for it? No. No, they it must. They must know. They must know. It's tanky, though. Yeah, but that's that's the thing with replicates. It's it, they take 100 percent damage. Yeah, yeah, I know. Deal no, deal none. It was a good bait in 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 all cases. I mean, maybe they could have gone in when they were using all their spells on Wraith King. Mhm. Mm but uh, no, they chose not to. Ruben's gonna continue to slip push away. This is a slow game. You know, thank god that Fang is playing Phoenix and not Naga. Because if he was playing Naga and this was Naga versus Tinker, we'd be in for a long one, wouldn't we? Like. Yeah, I, I'm already glad it's not happening. 70 minute games. Ooh. Yeah, no one likes that. Let's see what other ideas. She does have an obscene win rate though, Naga. She has a 58% win rate in pro games. They didn't yeah, really nerf her much last patch. It's a bit like Terra Blade. Whenever she spins out of control, she's nearly unstoppable yeah, with yeah. her time stop ability. Let's call it that, Song of the Siren. It's basically a reset, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It also like makes her ungankable. Mm -hmm. well, pretty much all points of the game. You can split push unbelievably aggressively and it's just so strong. So they are actually going to go in for Roshan. Dai's going to go in here. This is going to be world's slowest Roshan, I think. Yeah, With Chris M having no physical right damage. Click, only building in themselves after, after there's a toxin of the fiber. So this is going to be Aegis, Aegis on Tinker, I think. They need to know. They know. Like they just flared it. I think, but like it is down to half HP now. But they're they're making a move. They're going yeah, over there. Again, all five of them. They can take it. Take and Ruben stay. is going to lay down uh, lot, lots of march. Here comes Wraith King. Wraith King's mounting up. That split is going to miss everything. Oh, the Wraith King. They are going to back him off when he uses his uh, blade mail. Here comes, uh, Tinker here comes Tinker. Pete manages to get his spells off before getting blown up. Pete's, Pete's going to go down. Supernova absolutely doing work. Ravage number two is going to pop out. Shiva's number two is going to pop out. Wraith King's going to reincarnate. Tinker's just going to blink himself out. And Walton is going to go down. Nice fight. Tinker's already gone though. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be Roche for, uh... For the Radiant Titan now. For, uh, RTZ. Again, like I said before, they don't really want the, this game to go late to Dire side. So I think they're in trouble now, though. Yeah, Tink... Although Tinker is still a menacing character, he's starting to fall off against the right, like, madness what Morphling can bring. Especially when... Considering he has 2k HP without strength investment. Mm -hmm. And 29 armor. I suppose that will all get nullified by ET, but mm. even still. Look, he's absolutely melting towers, which is something that Tinker cannot do. A nice and a well placed hook could spell the end for Tinker right now, to be honest. Bloodstone for Ruben. Too sure. I think they need Hex. Yeah, definitely Hex for the Phoenix and the Morphling. Or at least an Orc Malevolence. Still, if you pick up an Orc Malevolence plate, it would utterly crush the Tinker even more so. They are going to take out all the, the remaining out of towers now. The Radiant are going to look to go ham and try and take objectives. Nearly 6k gold for the morph. I'm actually kind kind of sad to see no Aghanim Scepter on the Tinker. It's a shitty item, but oh god, is it fun to see. Fight breaking out in the top lane. Oh yeah. yeah. Chris. Uh, the Ogre Major is going to go down. Uh, Arteezy is going to go ham, but Arteezy gets sleeped up and Earth Split. It's down to really low HP. Fang is jumping in with Phoenix. Fang, Phoenix Alt is going to go down. Nobody's focusing the Phoenix Alt. He's going to get this soft cut free. Fang's actually finished up with a fresh rob. Waffle shot. hook shot coming out from Waffle for his big, really nice and on point. Arteezy's actually in a bad position, unable to right click anyone. 
But uh, the Red King's going to go ham on the Viper. And Tink is still alive in all of this. So they lose two supports. They throw out a casual Viper strike. Ruben tries to get ballsy there. They do have Ravage. They are going to commit Ravage. And they might get they might get a more, more sieges. But uh, Wraith King's going to res. And Ruben's just going to blink himself away. And they're going to be able to finish up the Tidehunter. This is I bad. Really feeling the pressure here now. They can't take tier 3 just yet. But the tier 2 is going to go down in no time. Mm -hmm. And Ruben's going to be able to lay down uh, swathes upon swathes of March. Oh, he's being annoying. He's standing in it. Oh, he might go down. He needs to... Uh, that was a misplay from the morph. That they can bust him. Way too overconfident. Well, that's Feeling just. That he could take down, down the Tinker with his superior might now, but again, Tinker is not to be underestimated. He does have buyback, but that was a, certainly a misplay. They cannot push now. It's all in yeah. Arteezy's hands. Will it be too easy for Arteezy? Arteezy is always a bit too ballsy for my taste. So it's it's he's a true successor in that regard. Oh, close call from Feng there. BKB now on morph. He still has buyback and three thousand gold to boot. So might look to might look to go into Ethereal Blade for himself. <laughs> Mjolnir picked up on Wraith King. Should be getting an AC for his team. I feel would be of high value and also well, Vlad's as uh, well. The thing is, Mjolnir and, and Maelstrom really adds to the wave clearing ability of the Raid King so they won't need either the uh, Phoenix or the Morphling to push out lanes and with the blink he has enough mobility to really um, become a mobile and global presence to add um, to the line of the Radiant still again with the Mjolnir the active works brilliantly against Tinker as well yeah dot yeah. He's actually, the Wraith King is actually farming ahead of the clockwork now, so. Doing really well. Yeah, again, he's just been focusing on jungling constantly now, and with the Maelstrom, it does amplify the, the farming capability of any hero quite well. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Especially, you have high effective move speed with Blink as well, so that's going to help you to farm way faster than, than John will be able to on clock. He has been jungling a lot, and John has been roaming a lot, so there's no surprise with the farm disparity there. Fang is also super farmed with a refresher orb and 2k gold as well. I'm not quite sure what he might go for next. Probably Boots of Travel, but after that, he really should be going for a Heart of Trask. Boots of Travel up on the Raid King. Disruptor trying to build for an Aghanim Scepter. A decent... It's a good item. Yeah. I mean, like, four staff's not going to save anyone from burst, is it? Mm -hmm. My dodge Ravage, but... No, nah, I don't think four is a good item this game. I think Ags is actually probably a pretty good one. Especially here's the two tank components as well, so it's going to waste a bit more of Tinker's time. Might need an additional spell to bring down Disruptor. John is actually going to go ham here on middle lane. He might be able to get the Viper off, but they're going to throw out the Earth, but uh, he's going to dodge it. Chris M's going to pop his BKB, but yeah, they're going to commit Ravage, ravage for this. Double Ravage is going to come out now. Morphling manages to get his BKB off. Tinker's going to go ham. He, he blows up the Wraith King. Wraith King's going to res up. They need to kill off the Clockwork. Arteezy still has BKB up. He's going ham on, on the supports. They are going to burst him down. Tinker's going to be able to get him. Feng comes in now with the with the Supernova. Nobody's focusing Supernova. It's going to go off, and they're going to bring down the Ogre Magi. Spending two ravages and they can't, they can't kill, kill anyone. Off a single hero. Dyer's time really has come to an end. Yeah, I agree. Again, that's the power of early game lineups. They can not only crush the enemy, but without any follow up, any tower pushing heroes, this this dire lineup just won't work. Even Wraith King is a problem. I didn't even notice Wraith King had BKB. Yeah. He's been farming as crazy, and he's going to be the next carry to worry about. Yeah, he's actually a problem now. Like, they've got Tinker, they've got him here, they, he's down. <sighs> wow. 
And Tinker's going to be up soon because of that bloodstone. He's going to be up in 50 seconds as opposed to his real respawn time. Fang needs to be careful though. He doesn't have Phoenix. He doesn't have Phoenix re reincarnate anymore. Yeah, he is going to be able to pick up the ogre. Pressure. Oh no, the the, uh, the the elder titan is going to survive. He was probably fearing for his own life with uh, with the tide hunters slamming him down. Get the fuck out, Chris! Says Pete as he glimpses him back. A good action indeed, but a disruptor. Altizi is going to be annoying and split push on top lane. I'm going to deny. Deny tiles is not a big deal. When's Roche going to be up? Uh, Roche is going to be up in about 20, 10 seconds? Uh, each 20 uh, seconds? represents 30 seconds, so it's about 10 seconds right now. Yeah, it'll be very soon, about 5 seconds now. I no, think. It's, uh, each dot represents 1 minute if I recall. Oh, okay. So, yeah, about. Yeah, about 10 seconds. So the 8 minute mark and then it's still going to determine the variable amount. I and mean. Roche is... Oh, that's actually the reclaimed one. Yeah. But it is gonna, still going to be a fast spawning Roche, I think. Yeah, the, it's only 25 extra seconds. So first it's the 8 dot, the eight, uh, dots, hence the 8 uh, minutes. And then those 3 additional minutes are determined when the 8 minutes have passed. And now it's only... 20 seconds or so extra. And yep, there, there it go. goes. Roche is up. Nobody choosing to scout that out. John, you're going to use Hook to uh, back himself up. Who needs a full stop when you've got Aghanim's Clockwork? Exactly. <laughs> Aghanim's Phoenix. Aghanim's Phoenix. This is interesting. So, who do you think is the best? Clock thinks he's Timbersaw. Says Arteezy. So, who do you think is the best refresh target? Morphling, without a doubt. Really? Morphling. You think? Yeah, because. If he's running low on life and mana, because oh, yeah, I see. morphing and all that, he'll get refreshed by the Phoenix in no time. And since the enemy team's lacking a right click carry, and yeah, nobody can focus Phoenix at all. Nobody's going to focus that supernova. It needs 10 attacks to destroy, and they have a Shivas. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, like everyone else, will be doing their best to make sure that egg survives. If if they're the going ham on a phoenix with four or five heroes, he'll fall, but aside from that... Well, Hookshot here on the Ogre, I'm not sure John should have backed him out. I think he could have trapped him there. Probably not wanting to fear an entire Dio team. Yeah, showing up. Tinker has actually finished up a sheep stick, so he does have that lockdown, but he, this is a six slot Tinker, so he's not getting any bigger. Mm -hmm. Maybe a BKB, which he can swap out every 60 seconds, but... We'll have to see. Does Who has buyback this game? That's important. So Arteezy has buyback, Tinker has buyback, <coughs> the clock has buyback, but nobody else does actually, that being said. Wraith King is spending his money willy-nilly. Uh, yeah, Red King is wanting to be the next one position at this time. He's going for Roshan now with the rest of his team. Where is Arteezy? Arteezy needs to take this. Does he have slots for it? Yeah, Arteezy does have slots for this, so Arteezy needs to come along and take this. Like, fuck, fuck T3, get the Roshan. Take him moving in on the Roshan pit. A shame Arteezy didn't cancel his blink there. Oh, Mugmeister's gonna be going ham. Oh, Arteezy's here. Arteezy manages to... Arteezy dodges uh, the Ravage. He's got the BKB. Where's the Phoenix? The 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 Phoenix ult is going to go off. Walton's going to get himself out of there. BKB raking, trying to kill him off. Again, Tinker stuck on that cliff, not being able to do too much damage as of late. Uh, Titan is going to tick down. Oh, the Moth's still here. Oh, that's risky. Uh, he's still very tanky, though, the Viper. They need to be careful. And uh, this could—they could turn this around completely. Oh, the thing is gonna oh, go. Oh, thing gets blown up. Refresh. Oh, I think Ruben might be able to do it. He does. Does he have enough mana? Yeah, Can he, he do it? Really have mana oh, it gets crit down. A thousand crit coming out from uh, Race King there. Oh, because he has—he has a DD rune. Mm -hmm. Nasty. They. All four of their heroes do have buyback, so I don't think they're gonna lose any towers off of this Roche. Fang does have a shame of that refresher orb. That was a close one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there goes Arteezy. 11k gold on Arteezy. He wants to open a hedge fund. <laughs> well, he should buy himself an ethereal blade, that's for sure. He should buy himself yeah. travels as well. Or even even an AC, or maybe even a butterfly could, could ex extensively increase his uh, damage output. So I tried to defend their middle lane, but again, nothing at all. He's richer in terms of spirit, asks Pete. <laughs> Who needs blink when you have hookshot? Richer by the spirit of this season. Lovely, well, well said, Uncle Phil. Alright, there's the old bit of travel on Arteezy. He needs a. I think he should pick up that ethereal blade now. He'll still have buyback, like... If he mm -hmm. dies, pick he up ethereal blade. And, get it and still get buyback. Yeah. I love that when playing carry. You have buyback and then some. Mm -hmm. The walls have been pretty tame this game, though. They, they <laughs> For been sure. To. Yeah, they've gotten as uh, crazy as ancients. Mm-hmm. Oh, Viper gonna use his ulti on the Wraith King. The Blade Mail is gonna do some work though. Yeah, gonna yeah, take him down. There's too many damage sources to really make it happen. Oh, Morphling almost. Morphling gets a. Uh, Morphling's gonna try and pick off the Tide Hunter. Might have to commit Ravage or he's gonna pay for it. He's waiting. Morphling's BKB is down. I think they can focus down Morphling. Not nice. sure Not sure about that ulti use from Morphling. Wraith King's gonna pick off the Tinker on the back end of this. But uh, Morphling, I think, is in big trouble now. Is going to he is, he is gonna he is gonna strength morph. They do use the they use the ravage. Elder Titan is still here. Wraith King still is still up with his BKB. A hook shot. He manages to trap in Chris M here with the cogs. They are gonna be able to bring down Chris M. And uh, Again, Wraith King and going ham. Total, how should I say utter failure this game. Double buyback coming out now. <laughs> I think they should have at least waited for them to hit on the T3. Tier 4, sorry. No, it is T3. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so a bit of a wasted buy back there, but. Mm -hmm. Because they're just gonna back themselves up now. Except Hookshot missed, so maybe they're they not. should really initiate this dire now. Get most of these buybacks and utterly punish the degraded. They don't have buyback on Wraith King, that being said. Wraith yeah, King it's choosing. Since reincarnation is yeah. already, again, ready yeah. to go. Tinker will respawn now. Oh, he's going ham though. His reincarnation is back. Oh, there goes the roof. The blink away. Nice oh, Pete manages Chris. to yours himself. Nice yours, whoever yours him there. I think that was actually an offensive yours, but it ended up working out really well for him. This the Phoenix refresher. Really off. dropping the nice disruption fields here. Oh, uh, Feng manages to refresh Wraith King. So Wraith King's back at full HP. Uh, they are going to bring down the ogre here. They can't right click anyone down because the Phoenix attack slows are too strong. Mm -hmm. John actually refresh. Fang actually refreshed himself here. He didn't manage to pull in uh, John Holy and save him though. Shit. Oh, Fang gets blown up by the Tinker though. Tinker actually pulled back in that fight. He's gonna mm -hmm. maybe finish up the Wraith King. There he goes. He gets a double kill. He might not be oh, done though. So Morphling's gonna go on him. Morphling's gonna finish him up. He doesn't have buyback. This, this is, is GG. GG. This is GG. Fang buys back. He wants blood. Fang smells blood. They're gonna take all the towers now. Did you see that cock? <laughs> <laughs> Right, Feng is here. Feng is here to bring home the pain. They are going to fortify, but it's not going to be enough. Tinker cannot. Tinker, with all his money, cannot do anything. Yeah, they're going to absolutely go ham on this base. Yeah, there goes bottom tower. I'm gonna stall up Arteezy, but these racks are not long for this world. They might be able to take uh, top racks as well after this as well. Barracks, 
So uh, RTZ did actually buy a butterfly when his Aegis came off. Oh, nice BKB there from RTZ. Might be able to finish up the Tidehunter. Is he going to get him? Yeah, one more right click. And I think he can kill the Elder Titan as well. Oh, they, oh, they kill RTZ off. He does have buyback though. Doesn't matter though, the damage is done. Had to AFK there for a second there. No, it's okay. Seems already racks taken, finally, some raxes. But I do feel dire of Hope State are welcome there. There's no way out of this one. Morphling is too farmed, and Tinker, even though he can burst down both the Phoenix Core and the Raid King Transition Core, four cores are just too it's much too for much. Tinker to handle alone. They transitioned it to four core and like they can't deal with it. Assault Cure Kiras finished on the Raid King. I mean this Raid King is number three in net worth. Like he's overtaken Feng. Like this Raid King is not to be trifled with. Mm -hmm. no, he has 5k effective HP. Unless they burn all his mana, which they won't. Yes, I, I, again, even though in the in the early game they completely turned completely crushed him it, it just lost lost the uh, wow um, they just lost uh, sight of him and let him grow to absurd proportions yeah they're gonna be taking this mid tower now they're gonna get that to them for free t2s aren't important at this point Pete's gonna stay smoked behind the t3 tower as is, as is John, waiting for a hook shot, seeing if he can cancel anyone's TPs. Mm -hmm. Fang is being annoying here with the Tinker. They're hunting, they still have smoke. Although, they instantly know he's there now, because John stood exactly on top of a ward. We need to buy a gem at this point in the game. I don't think it, it'll be worth it to be honest. There's so little wards on the map. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Unless they're, they're playing against me, it's, it's ward palooza. <laughs> yep. Oh, they're gonna. I think they're gonna try and just finish up top now. RTZ still has buyback, I think. Let's check buyback. Yeah. But yeah. They really should just end the game already. They, it, it's in the bag at this time. Did he buy a new Bloodstone? He did, he did. Since his other one was down to full or three charges, if I recall correctly. Ruben still doesn't have buyback for two minutes. So, uh, this will be interesting. Let's see, buyback status. Yeah, indeed. The thing is, if, if Tinker falls now, he's done for. Oh, nice Ravage coming out from Walton. He's going to refresh it up, and he's going to... Oh, he's going to nicely stack up the Ravages. They're going to kill RTZ. RTZ is dropping low. RTZ is trying to get more strength. Tinker is stunned up. The Supernova is going to come out. It's going to start Finger. Tinker, Tinker's going to go down. A good, beautiful Ravages. Oh, beautiful that... attacks by the Tinker. But no right click to take advantage of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the one Achilles heal the Dire team had, and as soon as the game passed, Steve. They GG, they GG out. It, it's, this it is done. Over. Are we doing one more? It's quite late. No, 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 I'm going to bed after this one. I yeah, was already fun. fell asleep about two or three times during this game. A good game, indeed. A good game. But an inevitable demise for the Dire. Disruptor. Well played by both sides. That indeed. That indeed. I'm going to message you. I'm going to find out if there's one more. Yeah, I'm going to bed already. Yeah, no. Good night, Phil. Tired as fuck. Alright. I wouldn't take care. Yeah, you too. I'm not going to cast it. There's one more.
Alright, see you later Twitch, there's not going to be another one. Toodles.